All right, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the first uh, part of a detailed build series of the free wing Zeus. Uh, I got a conversion kit laid out. The kits will start shipping as soon as this series is over. This is exactly what you're going to get. Um, I'm going to offer two versions for the X60 or the X45. Uh, basically, the only difference is the pipe's a little different. It's a different um, ring back here, and the mounts are a little bit different. So uh, just let me know which one that you want. Uh, this is what's going to be included in the kit. The conversion kit's going to be $300. I'm also going to offer the MAP 2-ounce UAT for $50, Castle BEC for $30, and then the modified wheels and brakes for $120. And basically, they're just the standard. Uh, they'll either be JPs or LMTs, and uh, I'd mill a slot in there to go around the strut, and we'll talk about that in future videos. Um, so the more I fly this thing, the more impressed I am with it. I mean, it flies really good. It's like basically the poor man's bandit, and uh, I couldn't afford the bandit back in the day, but... Uh, you talk to people that have flown it, I'm, these things supposedly fly just like it, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. So, um, in this uh, video, we're going to be putting the tank in the model. Um, I've included, in the in the conversion kit, you're going to get um, a sheet with the templates on this. You just basically glue them to a piece of poster board or whatever, and... Uh, they're very accurate, and you're going to see they work out really well. In my opinion, this is the easiest conversion out of all of them. All right, so let's get going here. So um, this is the fuselage we're going to be uh, putting the tank in today. Um, this is my fourth one, so I pretty much got a, a good handling on it on the sequence that needs to be done. Um, it, it's not hard at all. Uh, you know, the first one took me a little time, but I developed the templates, and uh, it goes real easy now. Uh, the first thing we got to do, and you guys will be happy, you know, I'm known for cutting up the models pretty bad. I elected not to cut the bottom of this model off because it just freaks people out. The only thing we got to do is we got to cut off a little portion right here. And there's a couple reasons that I'm doing that is, first of all, when I go to feed the pipe in, I can do it in one piece rather than having to take the bow mouth off because the bow mouth is too big to fit in through the back. And uh, it just makes removing the foam for the tank so much easier and putting in the engine mount. So after we're done, we're going to glue this piece back on here and... Um, it's no big thing at all. I'm staying away from the spar back there. It's not an issue. Um, so I'm going to include a template for that. We're going to uh, just trace around it here. Okay, like that. I'm using my standard Home Depot knife. You find it in the paint department going to cut it with just a little bit of draft here. This surface here really doesn't matter. Once again, always use a new blade. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy. So I'll just save this. I'm going to glue the mat back on later. Um. Let's see. 
I like to get these rails out of my way first thing. Um, sometimes they stick pretty good. You gotta run a razor blade underneath them. I already did that. So we're gonna pop these out. It's going to be a little bit hard to film what I'm doing since I'm not cutting the whole bottom off, but I'll do the best we can. Okay, so first thing we're going to do let me show you what the finished product is going to look like here on this one. Um, I did this one this morning. That black line here is the line that I'm going to draw, and I mean, it's an accurate cut. You want to cut right to it, and it shouldn't require any trim. Um, this is the exact tank that I'm, I use uh, for the production. I just don't have the fittings in it. But uh, as you can see, I mean, it, it just nestles in there very nicely. It's right on the CG. There's hardly no CG change at all, and it is a 46-ounce tank. So I'm gonna show you how to stick this thing in here. Because uh, to build this model, you gotta do it in, in the right sequence. You gotta get the tank bonded in, then you gotta do the mounts, because if you do the mounts, you can't get the tank in. You gotta do the mounts and the tank before you stick the pipe in. So uh, we'll be going through the right sequence in these videos. So the first thing we're gonna do this template here, okay? So it it matches up the uh, the natural join in the foams that in the foam here. It goes it joggles around uh, this piece of plywood here, and uh, it fits in there just like that. You can't go wrong. So I'm gonna draw on. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this chunk out here. So I recommend uh, you make up some of these, it's just popsicle stick, number 11 X-Acto knife, and some hot glue holding it on, cause a uh, standard X-Acto knife is gonna be too long. And when I cut the sides here, the uh, natural angle that you need to hold it is just right, cause it matches the curvature of the tank. So we're gonna cut that out here. I'm gonna cut right to the line because that's exactly where we want it. And then when you get up to the top here, you can continue to hold the angle. Then we're gonna remove this section here. Hold that at about a 45 degree angle. And 
Okay. Nothing to it. So, um, So I want to rough cut the uh, the spike out of there. I don't want to take it to the finished dimension right off the bat. So I'll use this. Um, I'm going to stay stay about a oh, quarter to half inch off the uh, bottom of the model right here. So you want to save these because uh, down the road we're going to need to make up a little spike like that. Okay, so you got plenty of material, so don't throw this away. All right, so the next step is to, uh, we need to take this foam here on the top of the model. And we need to cut that pretty much flush with the uh, curvature of the inlets in there. So the finished dimension, well no, let's go ahead and get this out of here first. first so the finish what we're going to be looking for here is a cut there's like a spar right here that's going to be our finished cut and then we want to line it up with the uh, forward cut right there so it can be a little tricky but uh, we'll do the best we can there's just no good way of getting it if I had the whole bottom of the model removed and be a piece of cake, but we're not going there. All right, so what I need, I need one of these about six inches longer.
Okay. Okay. Set up with a hacksaw blade. So we're after a line just like that. Now I'm gonna take a um, just a sturdy paint stick with some very aggressive, like it's probably 40 grit on there, and I need to sand that flat. And I want to go from the bottom of our rough cuts right here down to the spar. And looking at it, it looks pretty close right now. So I'm just gonna dress it up a little bit. Take more off if we need to. Okay, now on the top. Top gets a little tricky, but it's not bad. I have a template that we need to lay up in here, but for me to do that, I gotta have it pretty much uh, flush with the inlet, so I gotta trim just a little bit more. So we got another, oh, let me do one thing here first. These little tangs need to come out right there and there. And then up here. Here, and we're going to show you what that does. This edge right here in the back is going to butt up right to that surface there, okay? And then, if you look in the front, let me get rid of that chunk of foam. Let me try that again. 
Red buds up there. And so that's how it should look up in front. It, if you project a line up, it should kind of match up to the outer shape of the uh, inlet in that area right there. So I've learned from past experience to put a couple little pieces of tape down in front to keep it from sliding around while you draw a line. take a piece of brass tubing, bend it a little bit, tape a sharpie to it. So this is a pretty important line, so try to do the best you can. the job so we need to we need to take the foam out from that line we look at this model here we need to take the foam out from that line that I've just put on we're pretty much going to knife edge it on this surface right here okay and then when you get up front it's going to taper down to about Oh, you're going to have about a quarter inch right in that area right there, okay? There and over here, okay? So let's get that going. So this is just a, just a woodworking rasp. I mean, you can buy it at a woodworking store. I don't know. I've had it for years. I don't remember where I got it. So we're just going to go in here and start hogging. So that line is very important right there. We're going to taper right up to that, okay? And then we're looking for a knife edge down here on that surface. You know, if I just made a tank to fit inside that um, that spike, you know, it's only going to hold 20 ounces or so. It's not worth it. This is the right way to do it if you want to fly the foam line. So it's not going. I'm going to have this tank in in half an hour. So we're looking pretty good here. We're about knife edge there. I'm approaching my line. Everything's looking good. I'm going to do the other side.
All right, get in very close. I'm loving it. Let's see how we're looking up front here. I got about my quarter inch. I'm a little bit heavy there. Just a touch heavy here. We're gonna do a cloud fit with a tank and see what happens. Look at that, it's damn near perfect. No carbon paper at all. So, you know, you can go in and dress it up just a little bit, but uh, I mean, it, it fits fine. I mean, there's nothing to it. You go by those templates, you get a nice accurate line on there. That's the key. So what you need to do then is we get this, uh, this gap back here which it had to happen to get the tank in. And that's what this uh, excess foam is for, that you're gonna make up a little wedge. And then when we bond the tank in, it's gonna bond right up in there like that, okay? But uh, we're gonna Gorilla Glue the tank in, and uh, it ain't gonna go anywhere. And that's gonna be the next video. So next video, we're gonna put the tank in, and then we're gonna cut the engine mounts. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a few days.